So question 7, we are given a metal wire which is supported vertically from a fixed point. So force of 92 newton is applied at the lower end of the wire. The wire has a cross-sectional area of 0.04 mm squared. So this mm squared is not SI unit, we have to change it to meter squared. So I write it down, we are given the cross-sectional area of the wire 0.04 millimeter squared so i change it to meter squared 0 0.04 okay so millimeter is times 10 negative 3 meter and the we have millimeter squared so we have to square it so we are going to have 0 0.04 to the power of negative 6 meter squared okay so this wire obey Hooke's law. So the Hooke's law will telling us that the elongation or the extension of the wire is proportional to the force applied. The length of the wire increased by 0.5%. So this 0.5% actually is referred to the strain experienced by the wire. So the strain is given by 0.5%. We write it in numbers. It will be 0.5 over 100. So we will get 5 to the power of negative 3. So what is the Young modulus of the metal wire? So we are going to find the value of Young modulus of the wire. So class, Young modulus is stress over strain, whereby stress is given by force over area, divided by strains. So then we put in all the value. So the force is 92 Newton. The cross-sectional area of the wire is 0 0.04 to the power of negative 6. The strain is 5 to the power of negative 3. Okay, then you may post the video to do the calculations. So you will get the Young modulus should be 4.6 to the power of 11 Pascal.